Rubella and rubeola are two different diseases which have some similarities but also important differences. Rubella, also known as German measles, is an infection by the rubella virus. While rubeola is caused by different virus in the Paramyxoviridae family. It is also often referred simple measles. In many cases rubella is more mild compared to measles. That's why sometimes it is also called three-day measles with half of people even not realizing that they are infected. But if complications occur, rubella complications can be serious. Both of the diseases can have same scenario. They begin with high fever, which lasts first several days, then rash appears. Measles's fever can be higher compared to rubella. Measles fever in many cases can be greater than 40 degrees Celsius. Measles also have classic symptoms include Four day fever and 3 CS. Cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. These symptoms worsen in severity over four days of appearing. Coryza means inflammation of mucous membrane inside the nose. Common symptoms are a stuffy nose, runny nose, sneezing. Also, important diagnostic feature for measles is coplic spots. Coplic spots seen inside the mouth but are temporary and therefore rarely seen. They appear two to three days before the measles rash itself. They are characterized as clustered, white lesions on the buccal mucosa. Some of these symptoms can also have rubella. For example, fever, coryza, and rash. But in case of rubella, fever is commonly lower than 38 degrees Celsius. And it can have other symptoms like cervical lymphadenopathy, which means enlarged cervical lymph nodes joint pain in adults, and sometimes ear infection. Rash. Rashes are most important characteristics of both of these infections. Rash in both cases begins on the head or face and then spread to other parts of the body. But rush coloring and texture is different. The measles rash appears two to four days after the initial symptoms and lasts for up to eight days. The rash is said to stain, changing color from red to dark brown before disappearing. Overall, measles usually resolves after about three weeks. Measles rash appears, with flat spots, that are deeper pink or red. It usually starts small, eventually spreading to appear as one large rash. As the rubella rash fades, it turns a bit brown, and skin may peel or flake. While, a rubella rash often begins on the face and it looks like pink bumps. It can be itchy. Rubella symptoms usually last around 10 days. Both measles and rubella are airborne disease and spread easy from person to person through the cough and sneezes. But measles have incredible high infectivity and spreads very easily. Measles infectivity is almost 100%. Incubation period of the both diseases is around 2 weeks. The time from infection to the development of first symptoms is called incubation period. In case of rubella, infected person can spread infection during the week before and after the appearance of the rash. Almost same in case of measles. Person can infect others, four days before and four days after rash appears. Insects do not spread the disease. Once recovered, people are immune to future infections. Rubella infection is dangerous for pregnant. 80 to 90% of mothers who contract rubella within the critical first trimester have either a miscarriage or a stillborn baby. Problems are rare after the 20th week of pregnancy. Rubella can have other serious complications like testicular swelling, encephalitis, and inflammation of nerves. Measles complications. Complications of measles are relatively common, ranging from mild ones such as diarrhea to serious ones such as pneumonia. Rarely, acute brain inflammation. Most of fatal cases of measles happens because of pneumonia complication. Diagnosis. Rubella. Rubella virus specific IgM antibodies are present in people recently infected by rubella virus, but these antibodies can persist for over a year, and a positive test result needs to be interpreted with caution. Measles is diagnosed typically based on symptoms. Coplic spots can be also diagnostic criteria, if occurs. Management. 
Here is no specific treatment for rubella, however, management is a matter of responding to symptoms to diminish discomfort. Rubella infection of children and adults is usually mild, self-limiting, and often asymptomatic. Measles. Measles also have no specific cure, oral rehydration solution can help. Slightly sweet and salty fluids, healthy food, and medications for fever. Antibiotics if secondary bacterial infections occur. For example ear infections or pneumonia. Vitamin A supplement can be helpful in children. Best way of prevention, for both diseases is vaccination. In developed countries, it is recommended that children be immunized against measles at 12 months, generally as part of a three-part MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, and rubella. The vaccine is generally not given before this age because such infants respond inadequately to the vaccine due to an immature immune system. A second dose of the vaccine is usually given to children between the ages of 4 and 5, to increase rates of immunity. Both diseases are self-limiting and prognosis is good in most cases. But measles serious complications can be fatal. While rubella infection in pregnant women can be fatal for baby.